Hello everyone, The Duke here, and today I'm going to be talking about the Swagtron T580 Hoverboard. I bought this thing used for around $100, and it was my first foray into hoverboards in general. Needless to say, it got me hooked, and I really, really like these things. Now to give you a brief spec overview of the T580, it has a max speed of around 7.5 miles per hour, 200 watt dual motors. It says it can go 8 miles on a single charge, however you need to note that it does have a max rate of around 220 pounds and of course depending on what incline and how much you weigh, that will severely affect your battery life. Now, my hoverboard was heavily used. In fact, the battery was pretty much toast. It would last for 10 to 20 minutes and it got worse and worse. And if you took it outside, it would only go for about five minutes and boom, it was dead. And I actually was able to contact Swagtron support, tell them the model, and they sent me a new battery within about two weeks. It was about $50, so $150 in, and I have practically a new and working hoverboard. Now, the tires on this hoverboard are very smooth. They're 6.5 inches, and while they're very good for interior services like tile, outside they start to, well, they're not very comfortable at all unless you're on a really smooth sidewalk, and if you aren't, you're going to get thrown off. It's very easy to get on. It doesn't have the auto level feature like some hoverboards, but because it's so low to the ground, you can just simply put one foot on and then boom, the other, and you're good to go. It does have an app as well, but I wasn't able to get that to work. It might be because this thing is very used and something happened, but it never worked for me. It has subtle lighting on it. Like a lot of hoverboards have this extreme like RGB theme going on, and this one just has blue in the front, red in the back, and then some green lights, one of which which will flash when you're low on battery. It does have a Bluetooth speaker, which is okay. It's not the best sounding speaker. And honestly, because it's pretty much an inside board, I don't find myself using it that much. Now, this board new is $230, which is a little bit pricey in my opinion for just an inside only board. Because like I had tried, for instance, the GoTrax SRX, which I'll make a review about, for $170, and that one can go outdoors, basically any terrain, it's perfectly fine, while this one is pretty much only for indoors, otherwise it's an extremely bumpy ride and it's just going to kill the battery, because it's just not designed to do that kind of stuff. Now, the one thing about Swagtron is this is the only company that I've had to contact for a battery or a part replacement. They got back to me extremely quickly, and they said that it was actually going to be shipped in summer of 2022, like it was back ordered until then. But two weeks later, they said the battery was sending, and then a couple days later, it was in my hands, and it was very easy to replace. So, good support is something that you can't honestly go wrong with, and I'd be willing to pay a little extra, although $230? I don't know if that's for me. Of course, if you're just going to only do it for indoors and you want something that's going to last, I'd say the Swagtron T580 is a good place to start since it's something that I have tried and I really like. Overall, I'm very pleased with my Swagtron T580, especially with the price I paid for it. The support from Swagtron is very good, so if you're looking to buy a hoverboard and you have a little extra money, I'd consider the Swagtron T580, even though, like I said, I would likely go for something with the GoTrax just because the price point and being able to go outside is a big plus for me. I hope this review helped you, and this has been The Duke, signing off.